Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to The Sip, your daily sip of just the right tea. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this message, this video finds you well. Yeah, if you're new here, it is so wonderful to see you, meet you, and greet you. And if you are returning, what is up, guys? All right, y'all. So general energy reading for your day for the collective. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as it all is not going to resonate with every single person on the planet, <laughs> right? Also, there are no signs associated with this reading. This is a big old collective reading. So again, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. This does not have to resonate for you at any specific time. However, whenever you're guided to watch and it does resonate, then that is the message for you in that moment. Yeah? Excellent, guys. Let's get into this. What is the sip for today, please, Spirit? What message do we have for the collective? What's going on here? You have the Fool, the Two of Wands. Okay. Uh, continue, please. What do we got? What's going on with the collective at this time? The Knight of Wands. All right. Three more cards, please. The Two of Cups. The Five of Wands. One last card. Oh, goodness. And the Queen of Wands. But the Queen of Wands has come out reversed. Well, overall energy is the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, uh, I think, I feel like we're talking about a relationship here. We have a King and the Queen of Wands, masculine and feminine. Okay. Um, where, and what I'm hearing is where once both parties were engaged in the relationship, ready to go, wanting to move forward. Now, someone seems to have fallen out of alignment with it. Queen of Wands is reversed and it's most likely the feminine here. What I'm interested in is why. We'll get to the bottom of that later, but let me continue, um, talking through this. And interpreting what I have in front of me. We have the Fool here with the Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands to start, to start off with, okay? <clears throat> now this Fool energy is representing taking a leap of faith, but it's, but it's representing two forms of that. One, either moving forward with this relationship, I'm hearing diving into this relationship, or going further with this relationship, or it could represent completely starting something new, going in a completely different direction, which is what I feel like this Queen of Wands in reverse is um, trying to decide upon. I feel like somebody here, in terms of this relationship, somebody wants to move in a different direction. Something see, I, I just heard someone sees something differently than their partner does. Something new is inspiring this individual or their inspiration is taking them, leading them to go in a different direction. Knight of Wands. And you have this Two of Cups here, which is a meeting of in two individuals, masculine and feminine, coming together in some sort of a union or some sort of agreement, okay? But then you have the Five of Wands here. There is... Dif I, and I'm hearing difference of pers difference in perspective. That's what I'm hearing. Difference in perspective. Now, also, while the King of Wands, which is at the overall, which is the overall energy here, while the King of Wands could represent the masculine in this situation. And I feel like if it does represent the masculine in this situation, he has a certain trajectory. He has a certain way of doing, way of being, way of seeing things. Um, he wants to stick with the plan or stick with the status quo, the way you've always been doing things, the way the relationship has always ran, the way he's always done things. He wants to stick with that somehow, wants to move forward in some sort of fixed way. Whether that is you guys have a plan that you put in place that you've been following through with all along, or there's a certain understanding, or there's a certain way of doing things, whatnot, whatever. He wants to move forward in a fixed way. 
Now, what I'm also what I'm also picking up on here, which seems to be the dominant energy, is that this King of Wands represents whatever change in alignment that someone is going through here that seems to be wanting to take them in a different direction. There's there's a kind of like a bound and determined energy to do that. There is a point of view or there is a perspective here in terms of seeing either a new way forward, a new path forward, or seeing something differently that someone seems to be gearing up towards taking action on. I wonder what's holding them back. Okay, let's get into some clarity here. I want to start clarifying. One last shuffle. I want to clarify the five. Well, I want to. I actually want to clarify the Knight of Wands first. What's this Knight of Wands energy for the collective for this reading, please, Spirit? What's the Knight of Wands? Ooh. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say this before I, I show you what this card is, but. Um, and I actually, this came to mind, um, and I meant to say it, but I forgot some sort of new direction that someone seems to be inspired to move towards with this King of Wands and the Knight of Wands. We are clarifying the Knight of Wands, but the King of Wands here, some new focus, some new form of inspiration, some new passion, some new way of thinking, new way of seeing something, new direction that someone seems inspired to move in is most likely going to lead them to being single. It also kind of feels like maybe they would maybe it would be necessary for them to be single because they no longer see eye to eye with someone that they're involved with. And the first card that's come out here to clarify this knight of wands, this level of inspiration to move in a different direction is in fact the 9 of pentacles, which is the single card. But it also is an energy of independent thinking, thinking for yourself, being self-sufficient, being a sovereign being. And whatever this new inspiration is, it's, it has to do with being burdened at this point. And it could very well be that something about this relationship that we're dealing with here or we're talking about here has become overbearing or burdensome. And I definitely think it's coming from that King of Wands energy. Should this King of Wands represent the masculine in this situation? Something about this person's alignment has become overburdened, overburdening. Um, I'm hearing dogma, burdensome, um, overbearing, too dominant. Clarify the Knight of Wands, please, Spirit. Anything else for the Knight of Wands? Ten of Swords, whoa, Knight, ooh, Page of Wands now, and the Ace of Cups. Whoa, 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 to the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. This relationship has become overbearing. And quite frankly, with this Wheel of Fortune energy here, it may be that the, the situation has been overbearing all along. This person definitely has intentions of either becoming single or acting in an independent manner. And <laughs> um, that and it feels like that's going to lead to this person ending up single because this King of Wands energy here is either not going to be able to take it or is not going is, is too dominant, too controlling to allow their person, their partner, their Queen of Wands to like think for themselves or move in their own direction. Point blank period. But you know what though? That is a good thing in terms of whatever, however, whatever new direction this person is uh, uh, inspired to move forward in that could end up with them being single, turning out to be single as a result of it is definitely a good thing. Why? Because it would be the end to this burden. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. And 
it feels or it seems that this change in alignment is coming from a place of self-love, ace of cups. So I would absolutely encourage whomever this queen of wands is to move forward with that. I just saw 1010 10 on the counter, as well as you have this 1010 10 here, 10 of wands, 10 of swords. You are going to be successful in this. You are. Oh, and then you have another 10 here in the Wheel of Fortune, okay? You are actively changing the karmic cycle here or changing the cycle that you have been rolling with all along. I want to clarify the Five of Wands. Clarify the Five of Wands, please, Spirit, for this connection, for this relationship. The Hermit. You can't get any better than that, to be honest. The Hermit. Someone is self-aware. Someone is following their own inner guidance system. And this King of Wands is pissed off because they were the one that were in the lead. They were the one that were calling the shots. They were the one that were making all the, system, the, 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 the decisions. They were the guidance system. What my guidance is no is no good for you any longer. Quite frankly, bro, sis, whomever this king of wands was, that guidance did nothing but serve your own self the whole time anyway. So no wonder you're so butthurt over this. The hermit to the four of pentacles. We are at this crossroads here or we are at this level of dysfunction or we are at this differing of opinion because someone is letting their inner light shine and they are not backing down. But then we do have the five of cups. Okay. Um, also, uh, spirit is telling me that I'm getting a little too shadowy because it doesn't have to be this bad. OK, it doesn't have to be this bad. This King of Wands energy may not necessarily be so bad. It may not be that domineering or overbearing, or maybe it just wasn't in the past when things started out. But something has shifted. We should talk about that. Why the Queen of Wands is in reverse. And maybe, OK, maybe I maybe I was jumping to conclusion there. I was too quick to get all all Queen of Swordsy. Maybe it wasn't certain. Maybe this person's guidance wasn't only self-serving. Maybe it was serving the relationship. But Let, before I go any further, clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse here, please, Spirit? What happened? Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? Oh, 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 damn. Okay, well... The Queen of Yikes. The Queen of Wands is in reverse because of judgment. The devil. The Ace of Swords. Oh damn. And the Knight of Swords. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Alright. Well, look, Spirit was telling me to slow my roll a little bit. But also, don't jump to conclusions, Eric. Let's get the full story before you start popping off and judging people and accusing people of being self-centered, egotistical, self-serving assholes. <laughs> okay. But then, spirit delivered. This queen of wands has fallen out of alignment with this relationship with the king of wands because it's toxic, overbearing, codependent, and they figured it out, and now they're fighting back. Judgment, the devil, the ace of swords, and the knight of swords. You can't get any clearer than that, okay? You can't. That's why the queen of wands has fallen out of alignment with this situation. It's toxic. It's overbearing. It's too restrictive, is what I just heard. If you're going to have this Queen of Wands in your life, she needs to be free. Just as free as you are, King of Wands. You can't be out here. Look, straight up and down. And I'm not trying to pass judgment on nobody. Like, I understand I got a little shadowy and Queen of Swordsy. All right, cool. My bad. I take that back. But, like, straight up and down, yo, 
If you want this or any, quite frankly, if you want any real queen of wands who is worth her weight in salt or who is worth her salt in your life, then she needs to be just as free as you are. You can't be out here in the world being a free, being the free man or the free masculine, free king of wands that you are, and then turn around and look at your counterpart and be like, no, and restrict them, keep them in a cage, tell them what they can or cannot do. Are you out of your freaking mind? Like, like really? Please answer. Have you lost your mind? And it's not even me that's saying that. I know I'm being kind of queen of swordsy right now. Okay, but look at this king of swords energy. And the king of swords literally just said she's not going to want to be with you if she's restricted like this, bro. It, straight up and down. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is an objective party here looking at you like you must have lost your mind. I want to look deeper into this Two of Cups energy. What's the dynamic of this relationship here? Look deep. What's, can you clarify this Two of Cups for us? What's going on here? Give us a deeper view. First card is the Six of Wands. Okay. Two of Cups. Six of Cups. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we. Queen of Pentacles reversed. What's going on in this dynamic? And the overall energy is the Page of Pentacles. Okay. Um, okay. So what's the dynamic? What's going on here? What's the truth about this situation? About this relationship? Uh, six of Wands, Six of Cups. The Six of Wands is victory. Yes, is taking a, a, a victory lap. Okay, but the Six of Wands can also represent pride and ego and keeping up appearance. And there is has been a level here of just keeping up appearance, Six of Wands, because of the history, Six of Cups, of this relationship. Y'all have may have been together for a long time, or y'all may have come together under some really strong circumstances and or situations you may be um a very public well-known couple um a power couple you may have once at one point been called or see or looked or seen as a power couple that would never break up that always saw eye to eye with each other that were like the dynamic duo whatnot whatever but that's just what was on the surface. What was underneath the surface, or at least at this point, what is underneath the surface is the fact that someone's not being valued adequately. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Someone is being taken advantage of. Someone is being used for their light is what I just heard. It may not necessarily have started out that way. Maybe it has. But the fact of the matter is, as it stands right now, someone is being used for, taken advantage of and used for their light. Is what I'm hearing specifically. Page of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Starting over is what I'm hearing with the Page of Pentacles. Starting over. With that said, that's taking me to the Fool. Then clarify the Fool. What is the Fool for this situation? What does the Fool represent? Page of Cups. An apology. Eight of Swords reversed. Clarify the Fool in this circumstance, please. A Leap of Faith. Starting over. Ooh, ooh. Oh no, oh no, but we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck again. Um, I hate to break it to you guys, but I feel like if you were to accept this apology or some sort of reconciliation, I literally heard the karmic cycle is going to be starting all over again. Now, let me break this down. 
You have the Page of Cups, which could be an apology, often represents an apology in, in situations like this. And then you have the Eight of Swords reversed, which could, which could represent a level of jailbreak. So, this person could actually, this King of Wands or whomever this overbearing individual is, um, oh, also, I want to say this doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, okay? This could be a, a, a creative partnership. This could be a family member. This could be a platonic relationship. Take it as it resonates for you guys, all right? But this person may come to you and be like, look, I'm so sorry. Uh, let me say uh, uh, with energies of like saying the right things or in, with intentions to do the right things or put the right things in place for someone to feel less restricted. Eight of Swords reversed. But something about this to me feels like that is a lie. Like I'm looking at this and I keep seeing the Seven of Swords in my head. So this person may come forward with intentions to do this just to keep you in the karmic cycle with them. The Wheel of Fortune. Because at the wheel with the Wheel of Fortune, at the bottom of the deck, I heard the cycle is just going to be starting all over again. Here's the King of Swords. And again, and what I feel like here with the King of Swords is someone sees very clearly that the cycle could be starting over again and recognizes only one option for themselves to completely release themselves from this situation altogether. Somebody here sees very clearly what's going on and what has been going on all along. Um, I want to clarify the Eight of Swords in reverse. Can you tell us anything else about the Eight of Swords in reverse, please, Spirit? Justice. Ooh. Eight of Swords in reverse. What would bring justice to this situation then? The Emperor. And the Page of Pentacles. We're back to the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles to me is feeling like a brand new start. It is literally feeling like starting all over again. 22, 22 on the counter. Going out there on your own and starting all over. Uh, the Fool is a brand new start. Is taking a leap of faith. And I feel like it's taking a leap of faith out of this relationship and, or out of this situationship in order to break yourself free from this. And... It, and you bring justice and you balance the scales when you start to take the lead for yourself and you stop allowing this individual to take the lead for you. That's been the problem with this all along. That somebody here, that somebody here has been calling all the shots and it's been overbearing. It's been burdensome. And so now this individual who was represented by the Queen of Wands in reverse, who was once in it to win it and now, is fall, now has fallen out of alignment in this situation, has a dream, Page of Cups, because the, the Page of Cups could also represent a dream, the dreamer energy. And here's the Page of Cups right here, right? Clarifying the Fool. Has a dream to break, them, break themselves free from this imprisonment, Eight of Swords reversed. And how do you do that? How do you bring justice into the situation? How do you balance the karmic scales here? How do you exit the karmic cycle? You choose for yourself, the emperor. You make decisions for your own well-being, not the well-being of others, but for yourself. Now, the emperor is the type of energy to effectively make decisions for the well-being of the empire sure but that's when the empire the of uh, the emperor is balanced whole and healthy and what this feels like here is you being the empire of your own situation if you plan or if you want to achieve the freedom the new start the new start page of pentacles that you dream of here you're going to have to call the shots for yourself which is effectively going to take you out of the leadership of this king of wands here All right, um, I want to get a closing message 
for this situation. Uh, let me shuffle this. I'm going to give this three shuffles. And then we're going to get a closing message. Oops. We're going to get a closing message for this situation. Yes? From Spirit here. And then we'll get some closing Oracle guidance. All right. Closing message, please, Spirit, in terms of this connection, in terms of this situation. All right. Here we go. Closing or, or closing message, please, Spirit, in terms of this connection, this situation. Shift. Overall energy is the four of wands. The first thing the four of wands is saying to me is that, whoa, I almost fell out of my chair. Um, the first thing the four of wands is saying to me is that you have the foundation to make the decisions that you need to, that you want to for yourself. King of pentacles, king of swords, temperance. The King of Pentacles is an individual or an energy who is very solid and grounded and knows who he is. Obviously, we've been talking about the King of Swords here. The King of Swords is the objective individual that sees clearly, very clearly through the situation, okay, and comes to a verdict. Temperance is balance. So be solid in yourself, okay? Do what it is you need to do. You see this situation very, very clearly. And quite frankly, the fact of the matter is that you just need to call the shots for yourself at this point. In order to bring balance, harmony, and union into your situation. Okay? All right. Let's go with closing oracle guidance from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck. Yes? And again, um, you know, you don't. Even if you do identify as this Queen of Wands energy in reverse, it's ma It's it's not. It's not gender, okay? It's energy. And even though yes, we're going with the Love Your Inner Goddess deck. This is all about self love. So don't don't let the gender aspect of what we're going through or what we're pulling out here uh, throw you off. If you resonate as the Queen of Wands in reverse, then resonate as the Queen of Wands in reverse, whether you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's just about being out of energetic alignment with this current situation. All right. Here we go. Closing Oracle guidance for the collective for today's sip, please, Spirit. All right, two more shuffles here. Closing Oracle Guidance. Last shuffle. All right, kids. Closing Oracle Guidance for the collective. Here it is, right here. Card number 41. I'm Althea or Amalthea, however you pronounce it. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's card number 41? Okay, here we go. Your soul is learning about love. Whether you fully realize it or not, you are breaking free from a pattern of relationship that is, has not been respectful enough of you and your heart. Well, gee, that sure is appropriate. This includes the relationships you have had with yourself, with others, be they friends, romantic connections, colleagues, or strangers, and even the universe. As you allow yourself to feel, to feel worthy and release feelings of hate, shame, guilt, or judgment towards yourself... A new spirit of gentleness, love, and devotion will fill your heart and transform the quality of your connections with others and the universe. A beautiful new world of love is opening up for you. Oh, yes. And as I finished reading that, I saw 29, 29 on the counter. 29 boils down to an 11. So that was an 11, 11 right there. Boop. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you so much love. 
Uh, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find a list of the readings that I offer, their details, and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Uh, please follow us or me over on Instagram and Twitter. The links to that can be found in the description box below. If you would like to support the channel um, and also get some extra content with me throughout the month that does not show up here on YouTube, follow me on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. And as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already. With that said, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next sip on Monday. Yes? Excellent. Bye.